I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first graduate tonight. Uh, she has been a blessing. She has been a bundle of joy and a few challenges along the way, but we won't get into the challenges. And, and in that, but she has been determined to change her life, to put her life back together, and to get the madness out of her life. And she's been a blessing to all of us. Kimberly Gerlot, Ger 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 I can't even say it. Kimberly, all right. Now. Whoops. Hello. Hello. Can I hold it? If you want no, to. Okay. Oh, no. Then I'll take longer if I hold it. Oh, it will. You'll I'll take you longer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Make Hi. sure you speak loud. Okay. Um, Pastor, just bear with me. Where's my girl? Where's my girls? Okay, come here. Come, can they come right here, please? Come on. Because okay. if somebody doesn't hear your story, what's the point? Y'all might want to hear what I have to say tonight. Hi, y'all. <clears throat> this is how we do it. I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm. To your glory, Jesus. I celebrate recovery from a paralyzing codependency. That's the first time I've said that out loud. This whole time, I'm in recovery from meth addiction. <laughs> but the truth is, I came to recovery for all addiction. And my name is Kim, and I'm glad to be here. <clears throat> Woo! All right, so just first, if it's all right, I'd like to thank a couple of people. I'd like to thank Anna and Becca for holding my feet to the floor. I'd like to thank them also for never treating me different. Even though right off the bat, what are you doing here? How come you're here? <laughs> you need a place to live. And my story's a little different. <clears throat> um, I know Johnny's watching. If not, she will be. I'd like to thank Johnny for teaching me what codependence is and setting a boundary looks like. And don't forget to sit down. <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> Woo! I had no idea that she meant also not literally. Because I had to learn that one too. I'd like to thank Pastor John for reminding me to wait on God's timing. It's not no drive through, y'all. Um, Pastor Levi, <clears throat> for always being right there, bro, to remind me. Use my inside voice. <laughs> Put my filter on. And don't forget to stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> Pastor Jim, where'd it go? Pastor Jim, uh, Pastor Jim planted the seed two years ago, and we didn't even know it. So I got back from rehab. I'm trying everything to just go to church somewhere. So I start life by my house. And... Um, all I could focus on when all the signs, if you've been to Life Church, there's all kinds of groups you can get involved with. And the one, the only one that had a light bulb above it was helping women in recovery. The only one, which is Wings of Freedom. So um, they, um, I volunteered. Next thing you know, I'm over here wrapping gifts. Listen to Miss Ann go, mm, 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 down the hall. I had no idea who Miss Ann was. But I was respectful. <laughs> so I ran into Pastor Jim out in the hall. I wanted to know um, about the church, about the program. He said, well, we're having a meeting tonight over there at CR. I'm like, what's CR? But see, I, when I went to California for rehab, um, I was the outcast because I was the Christian. 
and it took me one minute to figure out it was in the right place. So Jim tells me about this program. I start going to church here, beg Pastor Dixie for a year. <laughs> but I wasn't quite ready to quit. Pastor Chris, big suit. Time after, oh, time after time, got it. <laughs> time after time, speaking God's word, exactly what I needed to hear when I needed to hear it. And I, you know that, I know. Um, teaching me if I, uh, teaching me to, if I fall, get up, get up, quick. Repent. And y'all, all this time, I'm 51 years old, I thought repent means, sorry, sorry, God. Repent means look the other way, folks, in case y'all didn't know either, I'm just saying. <laughs> it means do something different. I learned that here. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, and also, um, Chris, Pastor C, Pastor Chris, my guy. For teaching me, who cares if you feel like it? Who cares? Just do it. You have to forgive, y'all. Because when you forgive, <laughs> man, you sure can't set good boundaries. <laughs> okay, anyway, one more time, Chris. Thank you for giving me a safe place to be a radical, Bible-thumping Jesus freak. Pastor Dixie. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. Okay, I might have to just read this because, okay, thank you for giving me. Thank you for making me wait a year without even knowing it. God knew I wasn't quite ready to change everything. Thank you for giving me a blueprint of what hope through this program looks like, and the love and fellowship of GSL. Uh, thank you for a safe place to completely surrender my whole life, um, my whole life to God. Thank you. Okay, back to my, I promise I'll hurry. Okay, um, I want to take a minute to tell you about the program and then, of course, what it's done for me super fast. I thought I had finally arrived according to the world's standard. A successful mom, wife, career, good credit score, money in the bank on payday. Shut up. Okay, you know, all that was good. It was great. But God, I forgot. I forgot to be grateful. I forgot to give back. I forgot about God. All these things of the world left me spiritually bankrupt, and none of it would have been good enough. Using drugs, food, people wasn't good enough. Depleting myself to fix or help others wasn't good enough either to fill that empty hole inside. But God. Yeah. The... <clears throat> Through Wings of Freedom, God has taught me so much in a short period of time and has told me he will hold my hand the rest of the way. Freedom of paralyzing unforgiveness and resentment for myself and others has allowed me to finally see my worth through the eyes of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Because forgiving somebody else means forgiving you. And I'll tell you why, I can't tell you how long I thought I wasn't good enough for God's grace. But when I understood what God's grace was, and it's never ending, there's, you've always had it, just, just accept it, y'all. Uh-uh, nope. Uh-uh, it don't work that way. It does it sometimes. Okay, so uh, I was finally able to see my worth through Jesus' eyes. This allowed me to, this allows me still to feel hurt. I, I cry if I need to, but I'm healing. I'm taking it still one day at a time. But the one day at a time, I don't think about, I hope I don't get up in the morning and hit that crack pipe. The one day at a time now looks like, don't forget to thank 
God, don't forget to read your Bible. We have done all the things that have been over and over, and it's like, you know what? It matters. Because um, no matter where I am or how old I get, helps Lord, um, I'll always remember that. And if I'm not doing it, oh, that guilt sure is heavy, y'all. You better get on it. Okay, sorry. Uh, all right. Um, this is what I'm going to feel. Um, I'm setting realistic goals. <laughs> Did y'all get that? I'm setting realistic goals and loving boundaries for myself and others. I no longer have to save every damaged person I run into. Praise God. <laughs> Woo, that, that was taxing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, it's becoming okay. Okay. No, there was one more. It was awesome. Okay. Uh, sorry. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's becoming okay to be and take care of myself first, y'all. And it's not even selfish. Hmm. You sure? <laughs> God says I'm worth it. God says you're worth it. Mm. We are forgiven through the blood is shed on the cross. So if you're in the program, you're thinking about it, or you just want to get your Jesus on, go ahead, forgive yourself, move on from your past. Don't live there. You don't live there anymore. Find your worth through God's grace, not the world's eyes, y'all. Pray, worship, read the Bible daily to have a life of joy and hope. And let go, let God. Thank you. Hallelujah. All of them is not like preachers like she is, so you'll be okay. Some of them, some of them will be done uh, a lot sooner. Trust me, they, they get scared. Uh, when all your eyes are watching, uh, looking back, at that same time, they get a little nervous.